All right. Hi, guys. It is Dr. Eric here, and I am Dr. Prodigy, and welcome. We are in the beginning of a battle in Firefly Forest right now. Um, basically, we are doing fractions, and um, I'm pretty excited to see how these things kind of turn out. All right. So we left off where we are using fraction bars to come up with what our different fractions are. So remember that whenever we add or subtract fractions, our denominator needs to be the same. And then when it's the same, we can just kind of do a super easy problem like this. So in this case, I see that I have eight fifths. And over here, I see that I have four fifths. So because all of my denominators are five, I just need to do eight minus four. And now I can type all these things in and get my answer. All right, what spell should we use? I guess we're going to have to use Starbit. Come on, Starbit. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Enemy's turn. Oh, double whammy, double whammy. All right, looks like we have another question. All right, now we're doing fractions on a number line. So first thing to notice is all of these denominators are three. So here we're gonna put three for all of these. Where the dot is is where we start. And because the arrow is going this way, that means we're adding and we're adding one jump at a time. So here, we're starting at 2 thirds. I guess we have to click. I'm adding 1 third. And now that I have my common denominators, I can just add it to get 3 thirds. Now, at school, they would want you to reduce that to 1. But in Prodigy, they like us to keep it this way. All right, let's see what spells the best one. Kindle seems to be my best spell. Make it count, yes! All right, Starbit with 52. Let's see if we can get it to happen and win this battle. Looks like we did. All right, we're getting the non-member chest. Continuing on, all right, and this account, I don't use membership, so we're going to keep on going. All right, let's wake up Gerald. Gerald. <gasps> Gerald. Oh, good mess. Battling Gerald. Gerald already attacked me with like one shot. All right, we're doing more fractions. Notice how all of our denominators are 10. So we're going to be able to just set up a super easy 10 problem and we're adding. We start at 5 tenths and then we count how many we jump. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We jump 8 times. So I've got 5 tenths. I'm jumping 8 tenths. And so all I have to do is add 5 plus 8 to give me 13. And in Prodigy, that's how they want us to leave it. But in school, you would turn that to one and three tenths by doing a quick um, division problem. All right, Gerald, we're coming after you. What's my best one? Skewer, Autumn Gust. Ooh, we gotta go for Tread. Mm. All right, we know Kindle's our best one. Get him, Gerald is super fierce. 
Well, now that we know Gerald is against snow, we got to see if we have any snow creatures or snow pets. We start with three eighths. We jump one, two, three, four, five, six eighths. So because our denominators are the same, let's make that a six. All we need to do is add a cross. We've got three and six for our numerator and our denominators just stay eight. All right, Starbit, powerful Starbit, come on. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that was a big attack. Skewer, get him. All right, now it looks like we're subtracting. So the same thing is happening, but we're working backwards. We still have sixes for our denominator, but we're subtracting. So we start at three and we go backwards two. And that leaves us at one sixth. So we started at three, we went back two, three minus two is one, and all of our denominators need to be sixes. Come on, Kindle, make it happen. Come on, you can get out of this, Gerald. Oh, we're getting close, we're getting close. Whoa, Gerald took us right out. All right, here's another going backwards. We're starting at four over four. We go backwards one spot, so we're left with three. And because it's fractions, our denominators stay the same, okay? Now, later on, they won't stay the same and we'll have to make them the same and everything else. But for right now, they stay the same. All right. Tread has tons of power. Tread has... Skewer has slightly more power than Tread. We're going to have to do Skewer, I think. Oh, Skewer's still recharging, so we have to use Tread. Oh, so close. Okay. All right, we start at eight. We did one jump backwards. Eight minus one is seven. And all our eighths stay the same. Big money, come on, start it. Ooh, my gosh. No, that was so critical. All right, looks like we finally can use Skewer. Come on, 94, Skewer. Yes, we did it. We broke the spell over Gerald. And we leveled up. Whoa. That was a massive level up. And our pets really leveled up too. Awesome. And we're not going to evolve anyone. We're not going to worry about the member stars. Oh, Gerald. Ooh, we'll take the gift, Gerald. Ooh, we're going to have to put that on. All right, let's get our chest from Gerald. 
let's put on our new outfit. Yeah, burrs, Flora. Ooh. Woohoo! Firefly gem! Great job! All right, let's go to Silver Chill. Shiver! Chill! Mountains! All right, we are now a relic master. Let's check out our map. I think you're strong enough to face a bigger challenge. The puppet master has brought out a powerful creature, a titan. With your help, we should be able to take it down. When you're ready, click on the zone with the titan marker and then click battle titan. Well, I don't know that we're ready to battle the titan. But we'll stop this video here. Thanks, guys, for watching. Join me as we go to, oh, my gosh, Shiver Chill Mountains. <laughs> this is Dr. Eric with Dr. Prodigy. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends.